Hey guys, and welcome back to Tales of Eternia. In the last part, we made it through the Forest of Temptation. And in this part, we are here in Inferior City, and we're gonna go ahead and explore it a little bit. I'll go... No. Hey, you! You're from Machines, right? Huh? How did you know? I'm a tailor. I can tell just by the clothes you wear. You're wearing an incredibly old-fashioned machine stock or die. What do you mean old-fashioned? You're f you're from machines. You should know. The popular fashions in this city were all originally based on machines die. Really? Uh huh. But it's been modified so much it's not easy for an amateur to tell. I see. I had no idea machines die was this well known. Okay. Thanks for the little uh, history lesson. Uh, okay. Um, this is this is the Royal Arena. If you tr if you trust your skills, why don't you put them to the test? Because I don't feel like it, and it's pretty expensive. Get out of the way. Get out. Thank you. Okay, this should be the what? Yes, Shop of Valor. Ooh, hey, now that we're in a new city, we might find the Wonder Chef. Welcome. Okay, what do you have? Ooh, we got a short lance, crescent axe. Whoa, cool. Oh, hey, isn't this the thing that gives Yuri freaking, um, ad combo? Yeah, whatever. Ooh, a heavy grave. Whoa. A poison thorn. Hey, that's not as good as our current weapon. A bird whistle. Um, let's see. Whoa, that gives a lot of slash. Holy crap. Uh, this, this gives thrust, this gives slash, and this is a mixed thing. Um, I think I want to go ahead and just get the heavy grave. And look, there's not even any point to getting the short lance. It has the same thrust as the grave. So what's the point? Oh, well. Uh, heavy grave. There we go. And, uh, wait, I got the bird whistle. There we go. Okay. You're not going to give me any armor or anything? Come on. Where's the armor shop? Oh, I probably can't even afford any armor anyway. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I don't think we want to hang around here much, because I think this is where the like the next big cutscenes start and everything. Get out of the way. Uh, the arena here is... Oh, what's this, actually? Uh, I think this might be the inn. Alright. I mean, my lord... <sighs> I came to Inferior City hoping to meet my idol, Lord Leon, but I'm just a commoner. He won't want to see me. Aw, that sucks. Uh, oh, this is actually pretty funny. Uh, sorry, but we're not hiring. Aw. Oh. Oh, are you staying here? I'm sorry. Wait, what are you mad about? The Port of Inferi is a little way north of here. Okay. Uh, I don't really care. There's a little ferry. I'm pretty sure that this is where the Wonder Chef is. Um, yeah, that's it. Right here. -da 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 -da. I am the mysterious Wonder Chef. I'll show you how to make a gr gently simmered cream stew. We learn how to make cream stew, and hey, now we can get the ninja challenge. Oh wait, that's uh, clam chowder. Cream stew has five ingredients, bear meat, carrots, onions, milk, and potatoes. Yeah, so if you ever want to make cream stew, you gotta go out and kill a frickin' grizzly bear. Okay. Have a nice day. Ah, oh, you're so cool. If only you were as cool as you were in Vesperia. He's freaking awesome in Vesperia. Um, I'll go ahead and get healed, why not? Sure. Even commoners are allowed to stay here at 60 gold in advance. <laughs> okay. Hope you understand, but commoners are only allowed to stay on the second floor. Oh, fine. What well, do you have royalty staying at an inn and not the freaking castle? Oh, this is funny. Welcome. Your room is sparkling clean now. Thank you. My, are you cute? And what a nice white choker. Um. Is she talking about what I... Uh, I really love intelligent, delicate young men. <laughs> Man, am I tired. Do you like soft cake? Um, yeah. Hee <laughs> hee, that's great. I'll make one for you next time. Come stay alone next time. Uh, wow, Keel. I prefer hamburgers over soft cake myself. Good for you. <laughs> I make good cream stew, too. I mean cream. Wait, I make good cream stew, too. I simmer it with my love. <laughs> um, we're really tired and we'd like to get some sleep. I'm appalled. Are these girls your type? You'd be much better off with an older woman, like me. <laughs> uh, good night. 
my prince. That's pretty funny. I love that scene. Uh, it's like, uh, Keel, looks like you got a fan there. Although I'm honestly surprised. Don't worry, his personality is nowhere nearly as good. How is the maid service? Care to leave a comment? Well, she should be... Well, she should at least be able to make hamburgers. <laughs> oh, whatever. I'm surprised Keel didn't say something, but oh well. Anyway, I just thought that was really funny. First time I... What are you guys arguing about? There's no question about it. The king is superior. It's because of the king that inferior empire is, is the greatness it is today. Seyford created the world. Without Eternia, there would be no e Inferia. What? What do you mean, what? Wait, so Seyford created the world, huh? I guess he might be, a, like deity of the world or something. Oh, what's going on? Wait! What is it? You aren't accompanied by a Celestian, are you? Of course not. Hmm, I guess you're right. If all Celestians were little girls like her, we wouldn't have any trouble at all. Uh, okay. What the frick was that? What was the point of that? Seyfert Sanctuary. Right here at Safer Sanctuary, we also lend our ears to the troubles of common people. Oh, gee, thanks. Ugh. That's one thing. Uh, you know what? No, no, I'm not getting into that. No, I'm not talking about it, because I'm not getting into, like, some kind of religious debate. Never mind, I'm shutting up. The Tale of Ultus Vey. Um, okay. What is this? Welcome. If you hurry, you can still find a few seats. What the frick is this? Uh, our feature play today is the Tale of Altus Vey. Would you like to see it? Um, not really. It's a good tale, you know. I don't, um, I don't really care. Uh, I guess we'll save that for later. If you guys want to see it, go ahead and leave a comment if you want to see the Tale of Altus Vey. Uh, that is not un- Like, I can always just go back and see it later. Don't worry. Um... I think now that we've pretty much found everything, there's not really a whole lot else to do aside from just, you know, do what we came here to do. So, let's head on to the castle. Alright, what do you guys got to do? What do you want? Er, we would like to see the king. The king? This is a matter of brain grave concern for Inferia. The details are written in these papers. It's imperative that we see the king at once. Ha 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 ha! You can't be serious! Insolent fools! Do you want a trip to, a, to the dungeon, or perhaps a beating right here? Whoa! We're leaving! Goodbye! <laughs> I pick him up and carry him. Yeah, they're carrying him. Look, he's a butt. <laughs> wow, that's how guards are. They're all muscle and no brains. To think that our illustrious king is protected by those dinkbats. Illustrious? Does that mean great? Yeah. After all, he is the king. Why is he great? I guess a Celestian wouldn't understand. What? The king is a sacred, noble presence. He's fundamentally different from people like us. Uh, how? He's just royal. Meredith, doesn't Celestia have a king? No, we are all equal. No special people. I see. Perhaps the reason Celestia is so barbarous is because they've never known the rule of a king. Celestians, not barbarians. Yeah, Keel. Seriously? Whatever. I should have left you to get raped by that maid. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Come on, stop the fruitless debate. We should be figuring out what to do next. Let's go to the Royal Observatory of Astronomy. You mean that tall building over here? Oh, nice telescope. I like it. Telescopes are cool, man. That's right. It boasts the world's most precise telescope. Should they allow us to use it, we may be able to objectively determine if the Grand Fall is actually true or not. How do you know we won't get kicked out again? Top scientists from all over are gathered in the observatory. They're not muscle-bound guards. Then we should have no problem getting in. Let's go. Uh, should that count? I mean, it's in a sentence. She didn't just say it out loud. Oh, well. Should we be in here? If it isn't okay, someone will tell us, right? Okay, whatever. I like your floor, though. It's pretty shiny and reflective. That's cool. 
All right. Uh, there's not really a whole lot to do here aside from just head up. I don't really feel like talking to. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, dang it! Now I can't make a joke. Hey, Keel, it's off limits to visitors. We're not visitors. We have a purpose. Stop right there. No unauthorized persons are are allowed inside. Let us go to the observer observation room. We absolutely must use the telescope. What are you going to do? I want to measure the change in distance between Inferia and Celestia. The change? The distance between Inferia and Celestia never changes. Taking the measurement is pointless. How can you be so sure? Do you take periodic measurements? Well, no, but we did take one about two years ago. Aren't those measurements a little outdated? Watch who you criticize! All measurements are carried out systematically under Chancellor Zosimos' orders. If you come anywhere near the observation room, I'll call the guards. Please at least read my thesis. Anybody familiar, anyone, wait, anybody familiar with the white Kramel theory would understand its significance immediately. Stay back! What is your problem? I'm giving you papers. Jeez. You idiot! Let's go. We'll be in serious trouble if he calls the guards. Keel! There's still a way. Okay, so it looks like we're not screwed, hopefully. What was all that ruckus? I'm, I'm very sorry. I'll clean up right away. Idiot. Maybe you shouldn't have thrown the papers away like a dick. Then you wouldn't have to clean it up. Oh, well. Well, hopefully Keel's other way will be something possible. What the heck is that? Who's this guy? Claudio Zosimos. He's the Chancellor of this Royal Observatory of Astronomy. He's also the leading academic authority in Inferia. You don't say. Okay. Uh, is that like a space rock? I don't know. Well, let's hope that Zosimos guy is someone smart, not just stupid. Ah, it's appalling to think that an idiot like him is a researcher at one of the finest institutions. Keel, before you blame others, maybe you ought to admit your failures. You haven't been correct with any of your predictions up to this point. Ah, jeez, you know... Hey, watch what you say. Keel is trying as hard as he can to help Meredith and save the world. No, he's not. He's not trying to help. He just wants to be the best. Like, he wants to be the best like no one ever was. Right? Or, right. <laughs> yeah, sure. So what, what should we do? Are there any other ways we can meet the king? There is. The Seyfert Sanctuary. So we pray for Seyfert's help? The church worships the Seyfert Ring as a symbol of their faith. Surely they must have noticed the unusual appearance of the Seyfert Ring. We'll be fine this time. Well, I sure hope so. Okay, no problem. Let's do it. Let's head for the Seyfert Sanctuary on the east side of town. Yeah, yeah, I've already been there. Well, you know, even the religious figures in this game, in these games, tend to be douches, so I guess we'll see. What? Oh, oh, it's a different angle. I do like that stained glass window, though. It's pretty cool. The glass, it is so pretty. It's stained glass, depending on the god of creation, Seyfert. Finally, we know who this guy is. He is the god of creation. Okay. Seyfert. Quick, coo, quick. Okay, whatever. Sorry to bother you, but I'd like to speak to the Archbishop. I am Archbishop Gavani. Archbishop, my apologies. How rude of me. That's all right. So, what would you like to talk about? I would like to speak to you about the peculiar change in the Seyfert Ring. Ah. Do you know about the dark matter in the Seyfert Ring? It seems to be expanding at the rate of 300 langs a year. Yes, of course. The Sanctuary is aware of the change. And? I believe the Grand Fall will occur because of the change in the dark matter. Inferia and Celestia are coming closer to each other. Collision appears to be inevitable. Please, could you report this matter to the king and- What idiotic nonsense!
How dare you associate the Dark Matter, the sign of the second coming of Seyfert, with such disaster? What? Dark Matter is a blessing? So that's why my theory was rejected at the university. Seize them! Hand them over to the guards! Yes, sir! Oh, what? We're gonna get captured by monks? Uh-oh, let's get out of here! Seize them! Don't let them escape! Uh, good, killed it and trip. There they are. Grab them! You're joking. Damn. No, no! I'm scared! Udui muiti! Bai muiti! Tidu yanti! Read? What now? Good question. I'm Captain Rowan Lamoa of the Imperial Guards. Surrender. Resistance is futile and will only hasten your deaths. What are you gonna do with us? Spreading lies all over town about the destruction of the world? Kneel before the king and accept your death sentence. Death sentence? You... you mean... What do we do? Shall we take a chance and rumble? Let's surrender quietly. Think about it. It's a chance to gain the ear of the king. Yeah, and receive the death sentence. It's a one-shot chance to turn the tables. I got you. I hope this works. I hope too. I, I promise it'll work. We surrender. Hey, Keel. When's it gonna happen? When are we gonna get our chance to turn the tables? What will happen to us? We're gonna be alright, right? Damn it, I can't believe we got thrown in here like this. Shh. I can hear voices up above us. What the frick is the purpose of that? I shall pass sentence. You have deceived us in an attempt to throw our country into turmoil. The spreading of sedition is a crime of the highest order. You are hereby sentenced to death. What does death sentence mean? Are we in trouble? Death sentence? <laughs> wow. But please, listen to what we have to say. If you would investigate, you'll see what's really causing the Grand Fall. I don't think they care, dude. They seem to be shouting something. Arende, huh? Nothing but the blather of foolish criminals. It is not for you to hear, Princess Arende. What are they saying? Father, what are they saying? Hmm. Arende, you should pay no heed to the talk of commoners. Your beautiful heart will be sullied. Really? They are rude and violent ruffians who live in a different world from yours. Rowan, quit your dawdling. Silence the criminals at once. Yes, milady. Prepare to flood the tank. Oh, jeez, man, that's... Jeez, <laughs> they're gonna die through drowning? That's kind of morbid. I'm feeling faint. Rowan! What? Begin flooding! Ugh. Baiba! Er, let go of me! Damn it, let us out of here! Undini! Undini, help! Help us, we're going to drown! I guess we can't call in the greater Kramels as if they're servants. I found it! What? Let's stop struggling. We can't escape our fate. We might as well face our deaths with peace and tranquility. Wow, you're... Idiot. Keel! Don't give up now. I'm not gonna die in a dank and gloomy place like this. Look, down here, there's a valve. A valve? To drain the water? Maybe. Let's dive under and see. It's not that deep. Hey, wait, it's dangerous. How is it dangerous? It's in a solid, contained tank. It's, uh... Yeah, but somebody's gotta do it. See, it's not dangerous, it's the freaking floor. Okay, I'll do it. Thanks, Reed. You'd think they'd all be trying to do it. <laughs> Come on, Reed, you can do it. Oh, okay. Oh, what the? 
<sighs> it won't open. Huh? Where's Keel and Meredy? Oh, they left before us. Left? You mean they're... A rope dropped down from above. See? Ugh. Wow. Huh? You mean my effort was for nothing? Uh, well, thanks for trying. <laughs> That's pretty good. What the? Hey, Reed! What the frick did I just start sinking for? Be grateful. Your sentence has been commuted thanks to Chancellor Zosmos of the Royal Observatory of Astronomy. Yay, he saved us. He's not such a moron after all. But I think now that we've been saved by the Chancellor Zosimos, we're going to go ahead and end it off here. And we're going to find out what they want to do with us now. So next time, we'll find that out. So see you guys later.